What's up you guys? It's Chanae and welcome to... not welcome. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys and telling you all you ever wanted to know about the notes in my... Oh, rainbow. The notes in my journal. So recently on my Instagram I have been getting a ton of comments saying, Janae, how do you take your notes? What do your notes look like? And I can explain it type-wise, but it doesn't seem to make sense. So I'm going to walk you, th walk you through my journal. Um, so hopefully this will help you guys. If you do have any further questions, please leave them down below, but I will try to cover everything. Yeah, let's just get started. I move my hands too much. Okay. Let's do this. So first off, I'm just gonna kind of start on how I highlight and take notes in my actual Bible because we are gonna be taking notes from the Bible and then putting them later into the journal. So first thing that I do, or my first number one tip is to use colored pencils and not highlighters. You can still use highlighters if you want. I prefer colored pencils because one, they don't bleed through the pages. Two, they're very colorful. And three, they're super awesome. Um, I'm gonna start at the beginning, haha, <laughs> I'm funny. Anyway, what I did here is I used different colored pencils to color code the days of creation. So through the rainbow order was the different days. I also marked different things like blessings were green, and dreams in Genesis were in orange. Yeah. Um, also in my Bible, sometimes, ooh, bright light, here we go. I will draw little pictures like here is a sun, here's a little fire thingy and a crown and some raindrops, and this is a sunflower. I really don't know why I drew that there. It doesn't really go with the passage. Another thing that I will do is I will write notes up in the margin, which is just the white space around the Bible. Um, I don't remember if I put this- yep, okay. I am now turning back to Nehemiah, where I wrote in the side of the margin to show you. It takes me a long time to get there. There it is! Good job, Janae. Okay, so here in the side, it's written in colored pencil so you can't really read it, but I will take notes in the side of the margin. Now it's time for the notebook! Yay! Okay, so to begin, my notebook is set up with the different sections of the Bible with like the law, history, poetry, major, minor prophets, gospel, history, Paul's letters, other letters, and prophecy, and all that stuff. And so it's set up in different colors, so blue, pink, orange, purple, and green, can't read my colors, in both the Old and the New Testament. And so I use these, they correspond, so like Genesis through Deuteronomy are in blue to go with the things. Um, right now I am still in the pinks, which is Joshua through Esther, yes, ooh, I was right. Um, and then once I finish Esther, I will move on to the orange with Job. Why am I tapping that so many times? Anyway, okay. So you may notice- oh, wait, nope, I'm still talking about this. So say I want to go to Ezra, there's my little tabby thingies. Yay. You will notice that my chapter summaries in the beginning are much, much longer than the ones in the end. And it's not because I was lazy, okay, it's kind of because I was lazy. It's mostly because I realized that this was taking way, way, way too much space. Like, it took me an entire page to do one chapter. It was bad. Um, and then, I mean, side note, in First Chronicles, a lot of the stuff is repeated, so I wrote that smaller, but I realized that I was taking up way too much space, and I was gonna fill the entire journal with just the Old Testament. I wanted to fit my entire Bible into this journal, so I wrote less- I don't know what I'm doing with my hands here. I wrote less and less um, for my chapter summaries. <sighs> I don't know where I'm turning anymore. Here, let's look at Ezra. There we go. Okay. Um, as you can see here, my chapter summaries are typically three to four sentences long, unless the chapter's really long, then I'll do like five sentences, kind of like I did here for chapter seven. Is that five or six? That's six. Okay, also like in my Bible, I like to draw- oh, charts! We're doing charts first. Okay, I'm sorry that my voiceover is all over the place, I'm not really good at these. Here I did a chart for the different children of Israel under the mother, so Leah, Zilpah, Rachel, and Bilhah, and I just listed their children under them. This was just an easier way for me to identify whose kids belonged to which lady, because they had many wives back in those days. Here's another chart later on in Genesis where Pharaoh has his two dreams. 
one side is the dreams themselves, what happened the other side is um, Joseph's interpretation, and that's just all about that. In the beginning of Leviticus, for the first six or seven chapters, it tells you all about the different types of offerings that the Israelites, well, that the priests were to perform in the new tabernacle. So these colors go along with how they're highlighted in my Bible. <sighs> this is exhausting. And then same here. And then I also did the same thing for the different festivals. And that also matches the highlighted sections in my Bible. Um, these charts, it's just another way for me to record information as opposed to writing it all because that's boring and I like to be creative sometimes even though I'm not very good at art. Here's another chart um, where it was different actions and the punishments for them. So here's like action and then whether it was death or removal or other. And then I just put little check marks. This is just one way to do it. It's easier for me this way. I don't know. And lastly, similar to my Bible, I like to do little pictures because it's easier to draw a picture than to write it out. So for the elements of the tabernacle, as you see here, I just went on Google Images and searched it. Also for the how the actual tabernacle was set up, my dad actually had this in his Bible and I'm super duper jealous because he's lucky. And then also the different priestly garments, I drew those, sort of, that's not really art. Um, Later on in 1 Samuel 17, when it's talking about David and Goliath, the Israelites were on one side of the Valley of Elah and the Philistines were on the other, so I just drew a little hill because I needed some color because I hadn't drawn anything in a long time. Um, and then I'll just do a little random stuff. Here's Solomon's temple. He didn't actually build it for himself. It was for the Ark of the Covenant, which he put in the middle right there. There you go. I found it. <laughs> and then I just drew how this looked. And then I color coded it as well and then just drew little random stuff and that's basically all I do. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video or at least found it somewhat helpful. Once again, if you do have any further comments on my journal or how I take notes or anything in that category, please be sure to leave them down below. I will leave all of my links in the description box. And yeah, love you!